I bike ride this area a lot, and I started seeing lichen on the um, off-road trails I was taking and started collecting them. You know, I never take it off a tree. And I started just balling them up and draping them all over my bicycle. And I was way up in the forest on my bike, and all of a sudden I had this idea of creating this ball. Well, actually, it started with a lichen ball um, that I started making on my porch, and it got huge. And then I'd had friends give me these big clumps of lichen, and actually the world's largest lichen ball, I called it, went to Burning Man and went in the temple as a gift and got burnt. But after I made this lichen ball, I was still playing around with the lichen, and all of a sudden I flashed on this Funaria Vessel ball and um, started creating, made the framework out of a willow. You know, I weave the willow into a ball and then started um, kind of weaving the lichen into it. And then a friend said, you know, there's this art show. Uh, they're asking for entries for Funaria Vessels. And I was like, oh my God, I was shocked that anybody would be doing that. And so I submitted the slides, and um, I figured out how to actually put the ashes inside. Somebody lent me their grandmother that appeared in a battery box, okay? So <laughs> and so she was my um, blessing um, subject, and uh, so I created the sleeve and everything that goes inside the balls, and um, got into the show. It was down in San Francisco at Fort Mason. And I was the only biodegradable funeraria vessels, which kind of shocked me. Everything else was kind of what I call dust collectors, um, you know, ceramic pieces, traditional. But they're having another show, more local, and that's what I'm trying to do with the clay right now and the willow and some more lichen or moss to create a new one, a small boat.